Hey, hey, hey! What's up my YouTubers? How you guys doing today, man? Today we're going to be discussing about some of the mistakes that a lot of these um, new bodybuilders do and that been going in the gym and even some of the ones that have been in there for quite a while that still haven't catch on and not doing their research in the things that they're supposed to do if they're trying to gain some muscle like me. You see their chest jumping up and down there, boy? Check it out. Hi. So one of the mistake, one of the biggest mistake they made is when they leave the house in the morning to go to the gym or whenever they go, they leave on a hungry stomach, empty stomach, no food in their system. So when they get to the gym and they start working out over a period of time, the body runs out of fuel and it's starting to, if there's no body fat for the body to burn to fuel the body, then what it will start doing, it'll start breaking down the muscles and start using it turning it into um and turn it into um fuel to fuel the body to keep it going yes the muscles start cannibalizing itself so if you want to avoid that when you get in, when you go into the gym make sure you eat some food before you go in a good source that you can eat before you go in is some um baked sweet potato some pasta and some meat source, either, any kind of meat you want to go with. And you also need to do your protein shake before you go into the gym. So go in with a fairly full stomach. Eat something at least 30 minutes before you go in the gym. So when you go in, you're not burning up your muscles, you're burning uh, fat, and you're developing a good physique. One of the next things that a lot of people are going in the gym do, the next mistake is... When they, they don't do supplements. Supplements is very important because you're going to be supplementing for whatever you do not get out of your daily diet. So you're going to get that from your supplements. So you want to do your supplement. And the next thing that the supplement does as well for you, it helps the muscles to recover at a faster pace. So tomorrow when you get in the gym for your next workout routine, the muscles are ready. To go again even though it's gonna be a different muscle group you're working out because you have to break the muscle down and the rust will have to rebuild itself in order for you to grow muscle mass one of the next mistake that a lot of people do in the gym when they finish working out they leave and go hang out with their buddy and they do not get another meal in and some protein that the muscle needs to feed on so you need to do your meal prep so when you get out of the gym you don't go home and take a few hours to go um, or whatever it takes to go make a decent meal to eat because you don't want to go work out and then you come home and show some fast food in the microwave or grab a pizza or a burger on your way home because you're gonna you just waste your time in the gym working out and then you go eat all that bad food so yes you want to do food prep so you can have some quality food waiting for you that you can just heat up in the microwave or on the stove and get that in your system and feed the muscle right away it's a beast and it needs to be fed very often one of the next mistake a lot of people do in the gym they only do three or four meals a day and if you have so much muscle mass, it requires more food than your regular guy that doesn't have that much muscle. If you have a lot of fat on you and you're trying to burn it off, which your body fat is probably 20 or higher percentage, it will not affect you as bad, but I would still recommend that you eat very regularly. Eat... Um, at least six times a day every two hours you want to get a meal in high protein diet lean protein and you also want to do make sure you get all your carbs your calorie in and all of that one of the next mistake is when they go into the gym they injure themselves and then they can't go back because they go straight into the gym and go straight into heavy lifting they'll go in and put the heaviest amount of weight that they can and start working out before warming up to that weight so they go in and start working cold muscles and then they get um their muscle get torn and then they cannot work out anymore and they have to go home you're not seeing them in the gym no more guys you need to stretch your body if you're going to do your back workout do a few sets of pull-ups 
and that's gonna get all those muscle fiber active, get the muscle loosen up, get the blood flowing in any of your muscles. You can do push-ups if you're gonna do chest, and if you're even gonna do arm workout, do some lighter weight before you get into the heavy one. Is a trice, it's by um, tricep press um, extension, or if it's even if you're doing your bicep, whatever it is, make sure you warm the muscle up before you start getting into your heavy lifting and weight, work your way up. One of the next mistake is um, a lot of guys in there in the gym and the body part that they're working out, the muscle group that you're working out on those days, they do not squeeze out each rep. They're just going freely, so it's just a movement that you're going on. Remember guys, in order to be, develop a great physique, I know it's an aerobic exercise, but you also need to squeeze each group. So if you're doing your back when you pull the weight back, you want to pause for a second and squeeze the muscle and release at a slow pace. Pull it back with strength and squeeze that muscle. If it's your chest, the same thing. You push it out and you squeeze. You slowly come down. You push it out and you squeeze. So always squeeze the muscle that you're working on. And make sure your diet is clean. If you're going in the gym and you're going to be eating a lot of junk food, you're not going to get any result. Either you're trying to gain muscle or you're trying to lose weight. All that fat is going to stay in you because your physique is going to farm out based on your exercise and your diet as well. One of the next mistakes a lot of people do in the gym, they do not eat um taking a lot of water in their daily diet and the water is very important because a very huge percent of your muscle is water. All right? So you need that water in order to develop the muscle to flush your system as well. And you also need the water to help your body to digest your protein because remember you're gonna be in a high protein diet if you're trying to build muscle mass and now your body's gonna need a lot of water for your digestive system in order to digest your protein because if your digestive system is not working the way it's supposed to be you're gonna be taking in the food and it's gonna be passing the way down without your body absorbing as much as it should out of it. And also guys, remember you need to take your protein shake 30 minutes before the gym and do it 30, not 30, do it 30 minutes before the gym I mean, and do it immediately when you get home from the gym. So don't go hang out with your buddies, make it home, get some food first, and then going out with your buddies. And if you have to go to work, make time so you can get back and have that protein waiting for you. As soon as you get back home, you can drink it. And the next thing again, guys, you also need to in, in um, get cardio involved in your workout because if you're doing only weights, weights does not burn much calorie. It's a slower movement, so it's not a fast pace where you're gonna get your cardio up. And when you get a good cardio, it also help you with your lifting, your squatting. When you squat, you'll find that you don't run out of breath that easily. So you wanna do that, do um, cardio. And cardio is gonna burn off the fat so you can see those veins popping and so you can able to see the muscle. Because remember, the fat is sitting on top of the muscle. And if you do not burn that fat off, the muscle will be underneath their hiding and you won't be able to see it. So you also need to do some cardio. So just know, depends on how much body fat you have, how much cardio you need to do if you have a lot of body fat. I would recommend that you do cardio on a empty stomach and that will help to burn off the fat more. Also include your abdominal workout. I would recommend the abdominal workout at the end of the workout when you... Uh, I already got all, all you had a workout done and your stomach now is kind of more empty at the end of your workout. You can do your abdominal workout. Um, and the next thing guys, also remember the sleep. The sleep is very important. You need to get a good sleep on a daily basis because if you're, non, if you're under rest when you go in the gym, you're not gonna be able, if you're trying to build muscle, 
to lift as heavy as you can because you're not going to have all that energy in a tired body. And if you have a tired, trying to work out a tired muscle and trying to go out to your max weight, you can either, you can tear something. So get enough rest. Um, prioritize your sleep, guys. You need that. So whatever you got going on throughout the days, I know it's not every day you're going to be able to get an eight hour of sleep. If you um, have things doing that you're going to be so have a, so, such a busy schedule, on the days when you're not that busy, try to get to bed as early as you can and catch up on your rest. That is important. It will help the muscles to recover. Sleep, make the muscle recover. So the body is not functioning, doing anything. It's all relaxed so you can recover. So guys... I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment box. Please share this video with people that you know who are trying to achieve all these things in the gym. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Peace out. Now keep on giving you good videos.